Pisces. Welcome to your August 2017 tarot reading. Today we're in Wonderland and I'm so excited. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. And we're in Wonderland today so that's super exciting. I have a lot of really cool things that I just added in the description box below. Um, there's quite a few different ways to get private readings from me now. Um, I am having a sell 40 minute readings for $20 on my website. I'm also offering uh, calls and text messages with no time limit, however long you need uh, from Instingo. It's not on my website yet. Well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> and um, also I'm offering VMO pay-per-views. I don't have them up as of like while I'm taping this, but if you look in the description box, I may have them up by by the time you're watching this. Um, so definitely you'll want to check that out. So thank you so much for joining me. Let's get started on your reading. We're going to be using three decks. First is the Vintage Oracle. And then the uh, Old Fashioned Wonderland Oracle. And the New Wonderland Oracle. So what is the central theme of Pisces reading today? And it's adventure. So we're going on some sort of adventure and this is super exciting. What is our mental stage? What is our mental stage? What is Pisces mental stage? August 2017. Three cards for Pisces mental state, please. So we have the King of Cups. That's our energy. We have justice to reverse. So there's some sort of injustice that we can't get our mind off of. And the seven of cups reversed. So we're overwhelmed. So the first one we have is the king of cups. And this is our energy. This is Pisces energy. And the king of cups gives really good advice. He provides a shoulder to cry on. He is emotionally mature. He's in full control of his emotions 100% of the time. He has deep wisdom. He's calm, caring. He's loving. He's friendly. He's sensitive. He's affectionate. Um, he's completely disciplined. He's developing his psychic abilities. We have justice in the reverse. This is a major arcana card. This is a major life event. So there is some sort of major injustice. This could be a divorce that's on your mind. It could be lawsuits, inequality. Things are just going against you. There's imbalances here. There's feeling victimized, blaming others, arguments. And then we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So there's temptation, there's illusion, there's diversionary tactics. And uh, that is the card of Scorpio. So we have Libra and Scorpio here. And then I'm going to clarify with these cards. So why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here for Pisces? August 2017. Why is the King of Cups here? I'm going to clarify why the King of Cups is here. Okay. So I have the chariot in reverse. So the king of cups is there, and this is cancer energy. There's a um, lack of self-discipline, emotional outbursts, overreactions, and he's in complete control of his emotions. And you need to be because there's emotional outbursts. Why is justice in the reverse here? Why is justice in the reverse here for Pisces? All right, so I have the two of cups. There's juggling. You could be juggling jobs. You could be juggling careers, juggling people. Um, there's uh, decisions that you have to make. Why is the seven of cups here for Pisces? Why is this in here? So I have the Ten of Clams. And the clams are um, pentacles in the traditional 
right or wave deck. Um, so you're feeling overwhelmed with temptation and illusion um, because this long-term financial security, permanent success, extreme wealth, that's what's on your mind. So you're trying to build something that's long-term and permanent. Okay, what's going on in Pisces home and family life? What's going on in Pisces home and family life? Three cards for Pisces home and family life, please. Okay. So we have the magician reverse. You're unable to manifest. You feel weak, powerless. There's lack of self-discipline, lack of qualifications. You just don't have enough resources to do what you want to do. Um, there could be a bully, a con man, showing off, communication problems. What else is going on in Pisces, home and family life? Two more cards for Pisces, home and family life. Okay. So I have the moon reversed. Um, so we're back in our energy. This is nightmares, imagination running wild, buried memories. Um, there could be an absent mother here. Illusions, temptations, drug addiction. More for Pisces, home and family. Life, I have the King of Wands in the upright. Look, he's juggling the snake on his nose. He's all about the action. Um, he looks to others for guidance. He gets out and about. He sets good examples. He remembers who's in charge. He has no regrets. If he had things to do all over again, he would do it just the same. He admits he made mistakes. Um, he's ready to go. He's youthful, open-minded. He's a role model. He has good intentions. He's a natural born leader. He's an entrepreneur. He's dynamic. He's dependable. Um, he's a go-getter. He thinks big. Why is the magician here for Pisces? Why is the magician here for Pisces? So I have the, the eight of pepper shakers in the reverse. And uh, pepper shakers are wands. So this is the eight of wands in the reverse. There's frustrations here holding off. It could be over a Sagittarius. So you're unable to manifest because you feel frustrated and um, it could be over a Sagittarius. The moon reverse. One card for the moon reverse, please. Is up there. So I have the devil. This is codependency. This is toxic relationships. This is the card of Capricorn. So there's a drug addiction, being manipulated by the moon um, because of a toxic relationship because of um, codependency. Why is the King of Wands here? Right, so I have the Two of Flamingos, and the Two of Flamingos would be the Two of Swords. So there's choices, there's difficult choices. Um, there's painful decisions, you can't think clearly. Being in denial. on with Pisces money. Three cards for Pisces money, please. Three cards for Pisces money, please. Three cards for Pisces money, please. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. So we have three character cards. Two of them are knights. No, they're all knights. I have three knights here. Um, so, what are knights? They're all about, they act on ideas. So they don't just have ideas, they actually act on ideas. Um, they're highly action-oriented. 
They're extremists. They are always looking for the big opportunity. They're all about change, movement, action. So in terms of your money, we have three knights here. The first we have the Knight of Pentacles, just starting it off. And Pentacles are all about health and wealth. Um, so this would be all about money in general. Um, so the, the Knight of Pentacles breathes life into plans. He makes things happen. He's ambitious. He's a hard worker. Um, he takes responsibility. Then we have the Knight of Wands. And he's all about action. He's um, sudden arrivals, great new beginnings, but he can also be unfinished projects, starting something and never finishing it. Um, impulsive, emotional outbursts, being mouthy, being flirty, um, brave, he's brave. He takes risks, he develops his potential. And then we have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is sudden arrivals, just like the Knight of Wands. He comes in suddenly. He's direct. He's honest. He's fast-paced. He, um, he's a thumbs up to go ahead and put your plans into action. He looks to the future and he says, go for it. Um, when you're under pressure, express yourself. Um, he's all about the truth. What do we have missing here? the Knight of Cups, which would be our energy, which would be Pisces energy, because I'm a Pisces, February 21st. Um, so I'm the first to can Pisces, Pisces Sun, Pisces Ascended, uh, Gemini Moon, uh, Aquarius, Mercury and Aquarius, um, my Venus and Mars are both in Pisces. So, yeah, um, we're missing the Knight of Cups. So we're missing us, we're missing being um, romantic, being creative, being imaginative. This is all about going and getting it and doing it fast and not thinking about it, not romanticizing it, not being in a fantasy land. This is, you have the potential to make big money here, but you just got to go and you've got to do it. There's no diddle dawdling around. That's even a word. It's not even a word. I don't diddle dolly. Ah, we're in Wonderland. It's curiouser and curiouser. Um, you know. Who are you? Curiouser and curious. All right. So why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Give me one card for why the Knight of Pentacles is here, please. All right, so I have the star. This is Aquarius energy. This is the calm after the storm. This is relief from struggle, a time to heal. This is freedom, having nothing to hide, personal freedom. So why is the Knight of Wands here? Okay, so I have the five of flamingos. Flamingos are uh, swords. So the five of flamingos would be... Um, you know, you, you have to have the Knight of Wands, which loves to fight. That's fire energy for the Knight of Flamingos. Um, so this is about conflict, betrayal, win at all costs, um, smugness, gloating, physical attacks, major loss, no win situation. Again, we have this Aquarius energy. So there could be an Aquarius out to get you financially. Uh, just be on guard about that. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? One card for, okay, so we have Judgment. Okay, uh, Judgment is the final outcome, karma, things coming to a, co a closure. It doesn't particularly have anything attached to it. Right, let's have three advice cards for Pisces. All right, so I have the sun in reverse. Two more. I have uh, the seven of swords in reverse. One more. Okay. I have the full in reverse. So when the sun reverses, we have worry, doubts, negativity, 
and that's not helping you. The law of attraction, the more you worry about something, the more negative you are, the less of a chance you're actually going to get it. So you don't want to be in that negative mindset if you are wanting to manifest your dreams. And then we have the seven of swords in reverse. And this is uh, challenges, breaking habits. And then we have the fool in reverse, which is being impulsive, reckless, ignoring advice, poor timing, um, just being a fool, being doing things too fast, just jumping into things too fast. Why is the sun in reverse here? Why is the sun in reverse here? Right, so I have the two of pepper shakers. Um, so there's decisions about movement, decisions about course of action. Should I stay? Should I go? Why is the seven of swords here? So I have the two of hats and the hats with B cups. Um, so this is... Uh, a new phase in life, a new phase in life, and why is the full in reverse here? Right, so I have the eight of pepper shakers, seven, the seven of pepper shakers. And uh, that would be the Seven of Wands. There's many challenges being thrown your way. There's, um, you may feel struggle, like you're struggling to stay on top. You may feel like you've taken on too much. You feel like you're under attack, being blamed for everything. And I just dropped like half of the deck on the floor, so just excuse me for a moment while I for Pisces, romantic, and social life. Three cards for Pisces, romantic, and social life. Three cards for Pisces, romantic, and social life. Okay. So I have the nine of wands in reverse. Two more cards. Give me three more. So I have four cards all together for Pisces, romantic, and social life. Um, so the first one we have is the Nine of Wands in the reverse. So this is being on edge, defensive. You're hesitant to start anything new. You're paranoid. And it could be because of the Sagittarius from the past or just that energy, that fire energy from the past. We have the Eight of Swords in the upright. So this is about moving away from conflict, distancing yourself from bad situations escaping abusive situations, returning to life after trauma, um, frustration, being paralyzed by fear, not being able to see a way out, feeling backed in a corner, feeling victimized, trapped, and just ignoring advice, and that's Gemini energy. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is um, strong, solid commitment. This is dedicated, ongoing hard work, on top of your game, exactly where you need to be. There's a lot of eights here. So eights are all about change, movement, and swords, which is air energy, is also about um, change, movement. And then there's stability. And then we have more. And there, there's, there's, definitely, there's definitely some controversy in your romantic and social life. Um, it's a major conflict. On one hand, there's a lot of change, a lot of movement. And on the other hand, there's stability. Um, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this is Capricorn or Virgo energy. 
this is um, money coming in. This is being financially secure. This is finances improving. This is um, being true to your word, spending more time at home, um, being down to earth, practical. Why is the Nine of Wands here in reverse? Why is the Nine of Wands here in reverse? I'm why the Nine of Wands is here in reverse. So I have the thought Six of Hats, the Six of Hats, which is the Six of Cups in the reverse. So when the Six of Cups reverses, you're being stuck in the past, you're unrealistic. So the Nine of Wands in the reverse is being on edge, defensive, because you're stuck in the past. And we have the Eight of Swords in the upright, and that was all about frustration, um, being paralyzed by fear. And that's because of the Four of Pepper Shaker, so it could have been over a fire sign, an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo from the past. So we have this Four of Pepper Shakers in the reverse, so that's a break in communication. Um, there's this necessary right of transition in the past, but it is. It, it's still traumatizing you today and you're just like kind of paralyzed by fear. Okay. And the Eight of Pentacles is here because of the Tower Reverse. You're trying to avoid disaster, trying to avoid sudden changes. Okay. And the Queen of Pentacles, why is she here? justice reversed and we had justice reversed over here too so this is a Libra and this is some sort of injustice this could be a divorce lawsuits a breakup of some sort that was very painful very painful breakup and it's causing you to not move forward in your social and romantic life all right career wise and life purpose uh, three cards for Pisces career and life purpose Three cards for Pisces career and life purposes. The Five of Swords reversed, the World reversed, the Ace of Swords reversed, and the Ace of Wands reversed. So a bunch of reverses here. The first we have those the Five of Swords in the reverse. Um, so when the Five of Swords reverses, this is um, being open to change. We have the world reverse. This is somebody who's stuck in the past, who's carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders. There's a lack of closure here. We have the ace of swords in the reverse. There's confusion, chaos, a lack of clarity. And then we have the ace of wands. There's lack of motivation being weighed down. So you're not getting very far in terms of your career and life purpose. And uh, why is the five of swords here in the reverse, please? Okay, so I have the four reversed. So this is being impulsive, reckless, um, making foolish decisions. Why is the world here in the reverse? And we have the ten of pepper shakers, which is the ten of wands feeling burdened way down. Why is the Ace of Swords here in reverse? I have the Nine of Pepper Shakers. So this is um, constantly being on guard, um, taking on way too much, underestimating massive efforts that things need to, need to um, come into fruition. And then we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Why is that here? 
Right, so it's because you're, you're actually coming out of heartbreak. You're coming out of heartbreak here. Any other advice for Pisces? Any other advice for Pisces? I'm hard for advice for Pisces. Abundance. You have the ability to manifest abundance. It's there waiting for you. You just need to let go of fear. Fear is false evidence appearing real. And you have the ability to have abundance and adventure. So it's fine. Take the risk. Take the leap. Be active, action oriented. Thank you, Pisces. Now, um, I did want to go ahead because it is the end. Um, let you know, I am having my 40 minute private readings. You can get on my website um, on sale for $20, which is an amazing price. The rest of my prices are the same, but they're still up there available. So I still do the live Skype calls. Um, and you know, you can do like, I don't know why you would want to do anything less than the 40 minutes because it doesn't make sense price wise. Um, and then I'm doing instant go, which is really cool. And you can do text messages with me. These are for short questions um, that don't take very long. It's $5 per text message. And then I have um, phone calls. You can actually call me, which is really cool. It's $2 per minute. And then I uh, am doing I'm doing a VML, pay-per-views, and say you want more information on career, I'm going to have Pisces career on VML, and you can go and you can just pay for that, and it's going to be cheaper because more people can, can purchase that, and um, so that, that fits like more people's budgets. It's going to be $4.99. I'm going to have couples Pisces, singles Pisces, career Pisces. Um, so if you were wanting to do a private reading for your career, instead you can just go to VMO and purchase the pre-recorded pay-per-view for $4.99 for your August career, and that would be cheaper. Or you can just do the private and it's on sale for $20. It's all about your price range, and I want to make myself available to everybody. Um, so that's what I'm doing, and I'm really excited about it, and I hope you are too. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day.